Manufactured at the Neuer Hans Orbital Shipyard by Rocketdyne Industries, the Omega-class destroyer serves as the mainstay capital warship of the Earth Alliance. In the years after its introduction, the large vessel quickly became known as a symbol of Earth Force and proudly stood as one of the most powerful warships assembled by the younger races. At a length of 1,714.3 metres, the Omega's space frame is a direct modification of the older Nova-class Dreadnought. The alteration added a huge spinning centrifuge hab to the primary hull, providing the destroyer's crew with constant simulated gravity and making the vessel far more comfortable on long-distance voyages. The Omega could operate with a minimum of 250 crew, but most often carried in excess of 1,000, including officers, gunners, marines, star fury pilots, and enlisted personnel. The large ship is propelled by a cluster of four Bi-G Bryant 9000A particle thrust engines, useful for interplanetary cruising, but less effective for combat combat manoeuvring, largely due to the Omega's enormous mass. The Omega's weapons complement was impressive, including four 52mm plasma pulse cannons, 12 40mm standard pulse cannons, and a pair of adjustable bow-mounted laser batteries. The ship also sported a pair of fixed laser batteries laid into its aft, allowing the vessel to fire at pursuing enemies when forced to withdraw. The destroyer carried a number of EM interceptor arrays for point defence, allowing the vessel to shoot down not only missiles, but but also energy blasts in mid-flight. Some Omegas were also loaded with a pair of fusion missiles for planetary assault or station siege assignments, though these were cumbersome and expensive, leading them to be installed only when the mission demanded them. A standard Omega-class destroyer carries 36 Star Fury Auroras divided into two large wings, greatly expanding the vessel's mission profile. These fighters could be used to create a defensive screen for a larger flotilla, to perform short-range reconnaissance, or to engage light targets outside of the Omega's reach. In 2260, Earth Force began to slowly replace their Omega's fighter wings with the new SA-32A Star Fury Thunderbolt, an incredibly fast and deadly superiority fighter that was able to operate within a planet's atmosphere. Naturally, this upgraded air wing increased the lethality of the Omega class even further, and gave Loyalist vessels a powerful edge against the older Star Furies still used by the Earth Alliance rebels during the Civil War. An Omega class destroyer is a powerful symbol of control and security, able to lock down an entire star system for the length of an operation. In larger battles, Omegas are often used as command ships, coordinating fleet movements from tactical stations stored within the centrifuge ring. The vessels are most effective when deployed alongside smaller Hyperion or Olympus-class vessels, whose tighter turning circles allow them to cover for the Omega's limited maneuverability. Arguably the most famous example of an Omega-class destroyer was the EAS Agamemnon, named for the mythical High King of Mycenae. The Agamemnon was commanded by Captain John Sheridan prior to his assignment aboard Babylon 5, and served him again during the liberation of Earth in 2261, where the vessel played a crucial role in saving the people of Earth from President Morgan Clark's planned self-destructive bombardment. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.